Welcome back everybody. How's it going? This is the delivery I've been waiting for now the last to be honest I've been waiting on this kit nearly a year to come into our local hobby shop because on eBay they're looking for nearly a hundred euro for that. I end up getting this one for six euro shipping and the thirty five euro price tag, the original price tag. It's as you can see the E one ninety Evo two version with the rally type wheels and the the mag wheels as well you get two sets of mag wheels oh you get two sets of wheels mag wheels and the rally wheels that come on there the evo wheels so yeah i was very happy for this kid to come in this is one that we find very hard here in ireland to get and the only way of getting is by going onto ebay and you know getting charged nearly double the price alone for shipping but yeah, that I got that, and I really like that kit. So yeah, as you can see, the last one of these I showed you was actually in the middle of the building. This is the exact same kit. I reordered it just because I messed up on the other one. But um, I just painted it in a gloss black after I put our white arches and all on it with Millie Putty, just to um, hide a lot of the messed up parts I over sanded and all when I was doing it. So. It was the paint that wouldn't I couldn't lay down properly, it was my fault, it was all my mistakes, like do you know what I mean? So yeah, I end up ordering this kit again. This exact one. But the third one is also the DC2 type or integrity. The difference is only the bumpers and the spoiler. As you can see it's like the VR4 spoiler that comes on this kit. They're both Fujimi kits. They came in there now during the week, but I never got around to making the video because my partner is actually over in the hospital. She's still alright. She's she's not she's not leaving me or that. <laughs> no, no, she's not leaving me. She hasn't cut on like like the crown or anything. She just had a little um scare with a little bit of a growth or a, a mass on her lung or something. They think it might be a blood clot or whatever, but she should be fine. Please God. She's been over there since the other day now, so I'm not being minding the kids and that, you know. I'm just running the house, so I never got round to showing us the mail call that came the other day. So, yeah, I'm happy about this kit. You guys probably find this kit a lot easier to get than I do, but this than mo any of us really over here in Ireland. But I wasn't given a hundred euro for a kit that you that could also come back onto the shelves in my local hobby store for 35 euro there was no way i was giving a hundred quid or anywhere near it just looking for mad money for the kit and then nearly double the price for shipping so i said no i'll hang on so a year i was waiting for it one he got this exact one came in i don't know why it was only one but he was out of stock after i bought this one so i'm, I'm very pleased with this kit to be honest now I'm going to be joining me se second group build. Now when I make my next order, which is this week, I'll be making a, an order this week coming. I want to get the Aoshima Toyota Crown Police Car. Heroes of the Hour um, group build. With a story mechanic who announced it at the time. So yeah, I was telling them I'll try to get a kit in that I could, because all the kits I have is now are all race cars and all. So... I want to get like police or uh, an ambulance or someone that's on the walk in the front lines as you say on the front line for us all risking their lives every day so um, yeah I'm gonna order in that way another kit that I really want is the Alfa Romeo 155 by Tammy the racing car version so I have my eyes on them two kits and there's another one to make three and I think I'll probably lay off them then for a while because I think the other one's a Excelsior it's a few Jamie kit as well but I think it's a Excelsior or something it's um it's the wine coloured version I think it is wine winey red you know like it's a nice it's a nice car it is a nice car I think it's made by the Cunnies, not a Cunnies edition. 
Yeah, I think it's that. Like the JZX100 kit. So yeah, well that's it. Anyway, lads, that's the that for this week. I'm sorry I haven't posted a bit earlier. It's just as I said, apparently I was over in the hospital at the moment. Now she got all tested for all the normal st stuff that's going on in the world nowadays and got pure negatives on all them. So thank God for that. But um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. And another thing, I'll just show you a quick. I finished the bike. My first 112 motorcycle super far 400. Now I use the chrome. They only give you one chrome hand grip, and then they give you two black. But I'm gonna paint the chrome hand grip black, and then the clutch lever there, the hand grip lever. Do you know that thing there? As you know, we're on top of you. I'm gonna paint that chrome to try get as close as I can to this and if it doesn't work then I'll just try and match the two of them up to each other and then paint the chrome hand throttle uh, flat black or something but yeah I did super far I've done it in the light gun metal grey like the last um, LB works kit that I done I put the decals and tinted them um, indicators behind the decals then I have the Super combat exhaust race pipe on it. There's a racing silver crown fairings. Um I've done all the wiring, the piping like spark rugs and that. The clutch cables, front brakes, back brakes. Um I didn't have to use the gold suspension. Now I have the single mirror that you're supposed to put on the super four. Because you don't, you get a set of square mirrors for the normal one. If you're building the stock version of the CB400, because I built that, I just picked my own colour rather than the red and white that's on the box. But um, yeah, that's it. And then another that side build I've been start, I just started on was this Skyline Artist. So it's an old um, R30 Skyline RSC. As you can see, I had to put a bit of milli putty in between there, the extension for the bumper, like a lip um, body kit type thing. Have my camera, I'm using my camera, I don't know how. It, uh, I have it. It's actually dead, and I have it plugged into a battery uh, thing bar, charging bar. So, there, there, look, that's it there. I have it plugged into this. What I'm using, because I forgot to charge the camera. But yeah, I've been building this. Only started there yesterday. Just putting all the car together first. I cut out some roof and everything. So, but that's it there on the box. As you can see, it's another Phil Jamie makes a lot of my favorite cars. So, it's an RS Turbo stickers you get on the for the side button there. As you can see in the arch. You get them at that kit. So yeah, I started that day yesterday, the day before maybe. But then, um, yeah, I just cut out the roof, sanded it down a little bit, put on the front bumper, and merely put it, the gap, the fitment that wasn't very on point. You know, same with the back spoiler on the corner, on the two corners. So I'll just put them in, I said I'll let it get a bit harder, then I'll sand it again, then I'll put a, a bit of primer on it or whatever. But I already have the chassis, see the chassis was white as well, nearly everything was white, so I just painted it in a black. Now the wheels themselves were black. As you can see everything, I have to put, it all, I have to put the detail all into it and all for the clocks. And the dash and everything else but I just spray painted all the chassis when I put the cage the half cage into it the back seats black so frame chassis type thing the, the wheels on it are um, some racing heart racing heart rally wheels like they come with the kit 
So uh, yeah, just have to start detailing everything up and paint the body and that's that build done. It's just something I didn't um, document really. I'll just I'll keep you up to date on the now that I show. Just when it's finished, I'll just show it up as a finished build. But yeah, I'm gonna enter that other grill build. So just have to wait for the right kid to come, which is the one I told you about. That I think is the right one to go for the Aoshima. I think owns it. Um, the Toyota Crown police car. It seems to be the only one that I could see on the market at the moment. You know, like in my local store. <laughs> you can see me dog. Then she's asleep. She, uh, she every, every time I do a video, she's the one that's with me now because she's the only one that's quiet when I'm making a video. The rest are either. Fighting on the chair, or the little ones are barking. But yeah, that's this. I mean, that's the uh, the RS. The body does look like it's a bit, but it's supposed to be really low. It's a very low car, and the wheels. Uh, it's a real old skill race car, so like all the windows and all I still have to go in as well. So that'll give it a bit of a look too, and then um, have to put the exhausts and all that on. Make the body fit the chassis better. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon. So, all stay well, and please subscribe if you're not subscribed already to enter the giveaway of a kit that I'll give away. If I reach the 250 subscribe, I'll give away. I'll give a kit away to them. All you have to be is subscribed and like and comment on the video when I announced the 250 subs have been reached that's it that's your entry so everyone else have a good day stay safe and see you again soon signing off Keith bye